This video is sponsored by Ghostfire Gaming and Citadel of the Unseen Sun, which is gonna be in a physical version. Look at those books. To, oh, they look beautiful. It's in a what? Six book slip case set. It's six books. It's all the Fables adventures, but it's there in a physical version. You can go check it out with Backer Kit via the link down below to get notified when the project goes live. Yeehaw! Oh, hey, I figured I'd come about 15 minutes early. You know, get some prep in before we start. I brought a map, all the books, some snacks too in my backpack. Also with some extra dice, so hope that's all right. Great, thanks so much. Oh, so you're gonna take that homebrew spell you were telling me about. That's perfectly fine, I read all of them. You wanna change out some of your feats? Maybe change your class? That's perfectly fine. Honestly, you guys can do whatever you want with your character sheets. I completely trust all of you. Also, because you guys are going to be fighting a lich, it's gonna be a pretty difficult fight. I'm gonna to try to be as fair as I can. There's gonna be a lot of reanimated corpses within this game. Is everybody okay with that? You don't want any descriptions of them? That's perfectly fine, I can avoid that. Oh, no. No encumbrance. Unless you guys want to do encumbrance. Alright, and our paladin? Okay. While you're thinking about what to do in your turn, I'm going to move on to the next person. We'll come back to you, is that alright? Great. Now, does anybody remember the name of that NPC? You took so many notes. I'm so impressed. You know what? Have an inspiration for paying such close attention to our game. Okay? Okay. No, you don't have to use your action for that. Drinking a potion is a bonus action. Yeah, you can use strength for intimidation. Using mage hand to unlock the door. You know, that's not the intention I had for solving this puzzle, but you know what? That's really creative, and I think that's a great way to solve this puzzle. You guys open the door. The key has a unique symbol on it, belonging to that of House Rosewood. <laughs> yeah, I read your backstory. 332 damage, all right. You wanna undo your turn? Totally fine, let's go back. As you all team up together, the Lich is destroyed. His body turns to ash. You guys do level up, but that is where we're gonna end tonight's game because I know that Jacob does have to go. Uh, he told me a little earlier today that he had to go around 10.30 tonight. So that's where we'll end tonight's game, but I think I'm gonna head out too because I gotta give him a ride. All right, cool. You guys have fun. I'll see you later. Hey, and you guys just hold on to my player's handbook, okay? You need it to level up. I don't need it anyways. <laughs> what? Well, I gotta go, but I've got a minute. What's up? How many hit points did the Lich have? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> if you really want to know, it's gonna change everything. You sure? You just gotta know that everything I do is for the fun of the game. Fun for the players, it's fun for me too. But you gotta promise that it's not gonna change anything for you, will it? You sure you wanna know? All right, well, to be honest, I don't keep track of hit points, especially not for big boss monsters, campaigns like this. To be honest, I just wait until everybody gets something cool done, like they uh, use an ability or cast a spell or get a hit in, and the Lich gets to do something cool, the lair goes off, and then as soon as somebody gets to do something really awesome, like they just absolutely pop off on their turn, well, then it's dead. It's a narrative game anyways. It lets me control how long the game goes for, and, well, did you tell a difference? All right, I'll see you next week. By the way, I love your character. Can't wait to see where this campaign goes.